Everybody. I'm Brendan Donahue doing a guest lesson for Musical Life Denver on some basic chords that will get you started on the mandolin. Uh, mandolin's a little different than guitar, and it's best to just approach it as its own instrument. Um, it's tuned actually the same as a violin. So from the lowest, thickest strings, which are the furthest from the ground, we have a G. And the pairs are called choruses, and they're tuned the same. We have a D, then we have an A, and then we have an E. And those are tuned in what are called fifths, and it's the same as a violin if you have a violin tuning app. Um, awesome. Uh, it's easy to play all your chords like that. Uh, and it makes it feel a little bit more full if you're playing by yourself. But if you're playing with a guitar player and a bass player, you're really just a string snare drum. So play as close as you can, only the two and the four uh, beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And keep them short, you can see uh, my third and fourth finger, which we're not going to use very much for the chords we're learning today. They're choking the notes so it stays very short. Uh, yeah, just be aware of that once you're playing. It's fine to do this if you're singing along to your own playing. But uh, if you're in a group, just try to stick. That will make it everything sound better. So anyways, we're gonna learn a G chord first. Uh, it's what I've been pretty much playing so far. Uh, the bottom, the lower two strings in pitch, the G and the D are open. You don't need any fingers. And then your first finger, uh, and we go, if you play piano, we don't count our thumb. So we have first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. Your first finger plays the second fret of the A strings, and your second finger plays the third fret of the E strings. Yeah, and there's the G chord. A C chord, uh, you just move these fingers over one set of strings. So here's a G, and here's a C. So we have an open G string. First finger on the D string, second finger on the A string, open on the E string. That's a C chord. You can also add your third finger to the fifth fret of the G string, which is that note. Great mandolin players play both C chords. They sound, uh, they have a slightly different texture, but what Whatever works for you right now as you're starting off. Then we have a D chord, which your first finger is going to play the second fret of the G strings. Then you have open D strings and A strings. And your second finger plays the second fret of the E string. Yeah. And that will get you through a lot of songs, having a G, a C, or a C, and a D. Uh, but you'll be able to add a few more to your repertoire if you can play an E minor, which your third finger, your ring finger, plays the fourth fret of the G string. And then you have to play, it's a little tricky, and just if you get some notes ringing like that, just work on it every time you pick up your mandolin in a few minutes, and you'll get there eventually. But your first finger plays the second frets of both the D and A strings. And strive that they both ring as clearly as possible. 
and your uh, middle finger, your second finger, plays the third fret of the E strings. That's an E minor. Then we have A minor uh, is going to be the same thing with our first finger. We're going to play two sets of strings. Uh, your first finger is going to be on the second fret of the G string and the second fret of the D strings. Your second finger is going to play the third fret of the A strings. And your pinky is going to play the fifth fret on the E string. And then an F chord, which will help you how to if you happen to be in the key of C, is almost the same as an A minor. Instead of using our first finger to play two, we're going to do it with our second finger. So our first finger now only plays the second fret of the G string. And our second finger plays uh, both the third frets of the D and A strings, and our pinky is still same place, the fifth fret of the E string. And that's an F chord. So to review, we learned an G, a G chord. We learned a C chord or C chord. Uh, they both work. Anytime a chord chart says C, you can play either of those. We learned a D chord. We learned an E minor chord. We learned an A minor chord. And we learned an F chord. And with those, you'll probably be able to play almost any song you need to in the keys of G or C. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you want to keep learning, Give it a like and give it a comment. Uh, and we'll probably, if we get to do a part two for Musical Life, we're going to go over chords that will get you through the key of A and probably E. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, just hit like, hit love, and comment what you think you need to know next. And hopefully we can learn mandolin together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.